more open and a better result. Well, he squared himself up. Here's Belong taking up the slap. Hey, Surreal Belong, where you been, buddy? We were still looking for a player. Now, this has been, you know, uh, two years ago. And I get a call from Lewis Wilson. Some of you remember Lewis Wilson, who played here on our 87 and 88 teams. And uh, that team, that 88 team's in the Hall of Fame. He's now the head coach at Adams State. And he had gotten a call about Cyril being available late because the NCAA had kind of messed up his eligibility. Weekend, it's a Sunday, so uh, I just realized I can't go to uh, Dominican University in California because that was the school that was actually recruiting me, and um, it was a NCAA eligibility issue. So uh, it was going to take an extra five days for me to be cleared. And uh, the next Monday, what happened was uh, a coach that I didn't even know called me, and he was saying uh, he was going to help me find a school, that I should trust him. But, you know, at that point, it was a bunch of calls and a bunch of people that said, hey, uh, we're going to find a school for you. And it was about the school was about to start, and I still didn't have a place to go to. But then... Uh, about 30 to 45 minutes later, uh, Coach Holly called and he said, uh, even if I don't get cleared, I'm going to be coming to William Jewell. Okay, that was kind of a relief, but then, like I said, uh, I had a bunch of calls before that saying that people were going to help me, so I'm going to jump ahead a little bit and then the next Thursday, I think, I'm uh, going to the grocery store with my host mom and she stops the car and she tells me you fine I'm like what are you talking about and then she said it's a great day to be a cardinal so I'm, I'm like what does it even mean <laughs> she said uh, this your this your coach this your uh, future coach and he just said it's a great day to be a cardinal and that's how I ended up at Jewel the next or well, Saturday so that's about I talked to Cyril. I found out about him on Monday. Classes started at William Jewell on Wednesday. He committed to William Jewell on Thursday. Friday, the NCAA declared him eligible. Saturday, he arrived. Monday, he goes to class. I mean, it's, it's uh, the faith he has in a voice on the phone talking about a school he'd never heard of. He had Division I offers, folks. And because the NCAA had messed up uh, some of his eligibility part of it or somebody had filled his form out incorrect, uh, it allowed, uh, allowed him to come here. I should also say that he played at Brim Prep Academy in Carbondale, Illinois. Carbondale, Illinois. That's where we played this year against SIU. I got to meet his high school coach, and he had numerous friends that were at the game. So very proud to have him in the program. He represents us very well. He's always going to play hard. And uh, I just thought I'd tell you that story. I'd, I'd never had a situation like that. And and with, uh, with the help of Dr. Bailey, we were willing to take him on even if he had to sit out a year and lose a year. But as it turns out, because we got that corrected, he was immediately eligible and is now a junior at William Jewell. It's been a great experience. You know, first time making long-term friendship that lasts longer than a, a year. Because I've been to a couple of prep school, one semester at one and a whole year, a full year at another one in Michigan. But yeah, uh, it has been a great experience basketball-wise and school-wise.